For this unboxing, these are picture books out um, September 15th, 2020. Um, they are distributed by Penguin Random House, but I believe the titles are from Candlewick Press, um, or they have another imprint, no Nosy Crow. Um, so this is a small box. It looks like it's Nosy Crow, um, just because I know Nosy Crow does um, kind of the box from uh, children's TV series, and um, one of them is Gigantosaurus, which um, it's too bad. It's like um, you know, uh, more recent because my son would have really loved this. He loved dinosaurs and there weren't, um, dinosaur shows. There was just the kind of dinosaur movies. And so these are, this is like a paperback, um, the holiday party. So this is, um, a book out for December. Um, and this is a Disney junior show. Um, and this one, the Ground Wobbler. This is a hardcover, um, and this book, yeah, it, it probably mirrors an exact TV episode. I'm thinking, um, and so yeah, kids who like the show um, will love the tie-in of a book, and it will help them, you know, sort of relate a story that they know or characters that they know um, to a book, and you know, words to the story. Um, so it's great for literacy and gives kids what they like. Um, yeah, so it's a win-win. Um, so my kids, what we read a lot of, of shows they watched were Maisie, um, like, and we had every Maisie book on the planet by Lucy Cousins, and also my middle daughter loved Charlie and Lola, so we had, like, you know, basically every book ever written by Lauren Child as well. And this other one is a board book, Paper Peak Animals by Chihiro Taki. Takeuchi. Um, and this is no nosy. Oh, this is Candlewick Studio. Oh, I think this is Candlewick Entertainment. Okay, so they're all imprints of Candlewick Press. And um, oh, it looks like it's a cutout, but it actually isn't. That's just like a optical illusion. So this one as well. It looks like it's a cutout, but it's not. It's perfectly flat. So these are actually cutouts, though. So here you, you see, it says Africa, and you see this cut out, and you think, okay, what kind of animal is it? You guess. What is it? Do, 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 do. Um, oh, and it's a search and find. So it is definitely an elephant. And then you can find, I think, probably, um, so it's counting. So it's one lion, two giraffes, three camels. But it doesn't say how many elephants, so maybe that's something they say for the back. So these are animals by continent. So this one's Europe. And what is that? Maybe a wolf. And then North North America. This is fun. South. So it's really great because this is teaching geography and animals and counting. Um, so it's really, and it's beautifully designed. I like the color scheme. I like the layout. Um, yeah, so this is like a multi-dimensional learning experience that kids actually will think is super fun. Um, and it's definitely giving them a sense of geography. So I really like how there is a map at the back um, with the animals that you just searched for. Um, but there isn't specifics about the animal that is the cutout. So uh, there's a ton of them, though, so you're not necessarily counting um, the cutout animal. Well, here it's Emperor Penguin, so... Um, oh, so it's tricky, because you have Emperor Penguins, and then you have penguins that are not Emperor. So is that true for all of them? You have a monkey? No, that's just that one. Okay, great. Well, this looks fun. I, I love this book. What a great, what a great idea.